My name is Jim Beasley. I brought the uh, P-51. It's, uh, this one's technically a K model, meaning that it was built in Dallas, although the K and the D are fundamentally the same airplane. The exhaust stacks were only about seven inches long, right into the, uh, where the exhaust valves are. And the six on this side obviously means it's a V-12, and this engine uh, is an American-built version of the British Rolls-Royce uh, Merlin. The P-51 and its many variations served the armed forces with distinction in both the European and Pacific theaters of the war, carrying long-range fuel tanks to feed its thirsty 1,600 horsepower liquid-cooled Rolls-Royce engine that escorted bombers deep into enemy territory. With a sea level speed of over 400 miles an hour, it outturned, outgunned, and outran the best the enemy could throw at her. When you look at the guns, you can see that we've got 350 calibers on each side. The inboard one is staggered. And everybody's always saying, why is the inboard one staggered? Is it a cannon? What is it? The reason that it's staggered is because the ammunition feeds were also staggered so the bullets wouldn't run on top of each other. In the B-model Mustang, the ammo feeds basically ran on top of each other. And when you pull a lot of G, the bullets would get stuck to jam your guns. Below the uh, guns, you can see the bomb racks, although typically for this aircraft, the way it was configured, it represents something that would have been a long-range fighter escort. So this would have been used for fuel, and you can see the fuel inlet is up here forward of the bomb rack, or the drop tank rack. Of the total Mustang production of 15,576, fewer than 170 of these airplanes still remain. The last military P-51s were mustered out of service in South America in 1985. And that seems hard to believe. This aircraft is painted to represent the pilot Tommy Hayes. He led the first raid on Berlin and was uh, Jaeger's uh, boss. The plane's name is Frenesy. Above the exhaust stacks, you can see there are 85 bombs painted. That's because he flew 85 missions. He had been in Bali and Java previously and had shot down two Zeros while flying P-40s. Was shot down himself and then was transferred to Europe where he got nine Germans. Forward of that, you can see the pilot and the crew information. And then below that is a data plate that came on from the North American factory. Um, this aircraft we've tried to make as authentic as possible. We had uh, the RAF green uh, custom made to match it because that's the color they painted it rather than the olive drab. Uh, and we've even tried to recreate all the mistakes. We've just blown on the paint as they would have in the field rather than making lines. It's flat, it's not shiny. Uh, I try to keep it as authentic as possible. It's a real privilege to fly this airplane. It's a great airplane. I mean, even by today's standards, it performs very well, and it's, it's, a, it's a real pleasure to fly. The Heritage flight was something that became implemented in 1997 as part of the 50th anniversary of the development of the Air Force. It's a great way for folks to see the two world's best fighters, the P-51 Mustang, which shot down over 4,000 enemy fighters in the Pacific and Europe during World War II, uh, paired up with the world's best fighter, the F-15 Eagle, which has shot down more airplanes and not lost any in its combat experience. Mr. Jim Beasley in his P-51 leading the formation and Captain John York in the F-15 on his right wing. The dissimilarity between the P-51 and the F-15 make it a real challenge for the pilots to actually uh, fly. And that's part of the, the reason why there are so few heritage pilots. There's only 12 in the whole world that the Air Force has chosen to fly with us. If I get too slow, it's real hard for them. So when I'm leading, I gotta make sure I stay at least 200 knots or better. We uh, kind of meet in the middle there and our goal is to make it look easy. And if we do that, then we've done our job. To be able to put those two together for people to see in, uh, in one glimpse of a flyby is great. And, uh, and show folks uh, kind of what's kept the country free for the last 50 years, the P-51 and the F-15.